In previous videos, we've created a Visio Designer application to log user events and alarms. We're going to continue to build on that project to store the log into a CSV format. First, we'll enable the web gate. This is the IP address of the unit. We'll go to Remote Access, turn on the web server and the web gate, and OK. We'll go down to our variables. We'll make sure that they have Read Write Access. Select all the variables, Sharing, Read Write. Next, we'll go to the security, which we created. We'll enable WebGate security so that we can access the data via WebGate. And we'll give it Read Write control so that I can change values via the browser. Next, we'll go to the Events category, which we created. We'll go to the Alarm Group setting. We're going to save the output to a file. So we've got a control variable which writes the file type. This can be an active alarm file, it can be a logged file, or it can be a history file. The file is numbered, so we'll give it a variable. We're going to add the date so we know what date the file was created. We'll auto increment. We'll also go into the format. We'll give the file a title. This will be in the file itself. We're going to add the username because we are logging events. And we're going to add the time because we want to log the time of the events. The alarms are timed. OK. And we'll go back to our panel. And we'll create a switch to write the file. First thing we're going to do is put a number 2 in the file type. This is a history. We'll add that. We're going to put a delay in here so that as we write the file, we'll ensure that the file is opened, written to, and closed properly. And then we will reset the write by adding a zero into the file type. We'll give it a label. history and we'll change the text color to black so that we can actually read it. Next we'll go to the event summary. We're going to scroll down so that the latest event or alarm is at the top of the summary. We'll go into our columns and our buttons and we'll add the acknowledge and the acknowledge all. And we'll go back to our messages. If the alarm is acknowledged but the alarm is still there, we'll change the text to red. Next we'll download to the Magellus. Runtime. We're going to delete the runtime data, which is the logged files that are already on the Magellus. Could be the security and things like that. Our download is complete. We'll open the web page that is in the Magellus. We're going to open the WebGate so that we can view the files. We enabled security for WebGate. The operator name is user, and its password is user. We've logged in. We'll change the value. User changed the value to 75. Oops, that triggered an alarm. We'll change the value to 85. This is being logged. 
Oh my goodness, that tripped another alarm. We're going to acknowledge the first alarm and we'll change the value back down to 40. We're going to that reset both alarms. At this point, we'll write the file simply by selecting the switch. We got our one second delay and we'll go back to our web gate. The file is stored in the maintenance on the secondary drive. Under the alarm, alarm category, select the file, file alarm history, the date, open, and here is our file. Note the title, which we checked. Note the times. Note that the events and the alarms are separate but we can sort. By time, largest to smallest. So here are our alarms. We acknowledged alarm one. And that's how to create a log file within the Magellus.